So uh, working backward for a question like this, when you are looking for the wavelength of a particle, again, um, because especially because it's uh, asking for the de Broglie wavelength, um, the relationship that you are going to use is the de Broglie relationship. Momentum of a particle is Planck's constant divided by the wavelength of the particle. Now, as I was saying before, what should always be at the back of your mind is um, thinking through, should you be using the non-relativistic expression for momentum, mass times velocity, or relativistic expression for momentum, gamma mb. And most of the time, I'm going to try to look for a way to justify using the non-relativistic expression. And here's one way to justify it. Uh, so I'm seeing that electron is being accelerated through a potential energy difference of 17 kilo electron volts, uh, which means you know it's going to have kinetic energy of 17 kilo electron volts. So this is what's going to end up being my kinetic energy. And one criterion you can use to see, are you going to be in a regime where relativistic effects matter is to compare this kinetic energy with the rest energy. So if this kinetic energy ends up being comparable to the rest energy of the particle you are dealing with, then okay, then it's gonna be relativistic. You can use non-relativistic expression. But if you can somehow figure out that this kinetic energy is going to be much less than the rest energy, then, then that's your go ahead for using non-relativistic approximation. And I happen for, for electron, I happen to have memorized that rest energy of the electron is uh, 0 0.511 mega electron volt or 511 kilo electron volt. So I'm comparing about 500 to 17. Well, 17 is smaller by like factor of 20 or so. So I'm going to assume that, oh, that seems, um, uh, that seems uh, um, small enough. So, so I will use the non-relativistic expression. And one thing I am going to do is I'm going, I'm going to actually go through an intermediate step of plugging in the numbers for the velocity so that I can double check to make sure that my, the, uh, the velocity of the electron is going to be much less than speed of light. So, so with all that uh, covered, so this is kind of expressions I'm going through. The kinetic energy the, using the non-relativistic expression is going to be one half mv squared. I know the value of the kinetic energy, 17 kilo electron volt. So solving for V, my velocity will be square root of two times, uh, two times kinetic energy divided by the mass. And you know, square root because I'm getting rid of the square. I hope you know, this algebra, <laughs> you've done this enough that uh, me skipping step doesn't confuse anyone. So uh, let me plug in the numbers. I can just do this rather easily, no from alpha. So I'm just gonna do that. Um, so it's gonna be square root of, and this is one of the things that are nice about all from alpha, it's aware of units. So I can just two times 17 keV. And I think all from alpha will just understand that what I mean by this divided by uh, electron mass. And I think uh, all from alpha will put in all the right units. Um, I guess when we do particle physics, I'll do some of these calculations by hand so that I can show. At this point, I think it's gonna look more um, um, look more problematic. Hmm. Okay, so I'm getting seven times or eight times the ten to the seven meters per second. So that's about um, is it about five percent? So it's actually getting fairly close to speed of light. Um, wait, it's actually more than 5%. It's like, so 10% would be three times. So it's like 20% of speed of light. Um, 
okay, so it's getting me worried a little bit, but let me actually just keep going and see if, uh, if I figure out the, uh, okay, so let me do it this way. I'm going to one, figure out the non-relativistic expression, plug it in, see if <laughs> the answer ends up being correct. And is, uh, whether the answer is graded as correct or not, I will also work out the relativistic version so that you can see how much the difference is and yeah. So, so okay, we are here. So, um, to, so to get, get at the, the wavelength, uh, I need to uh, you know, say that, um, say that uh, this equals mv, and I'm solving it for wavelength, and do that algebra, wavelength is equal to h over mv. So um, I have velocity in the expression that I wrote down there already. So I'm gonna just add on, um, so a Planck's constant divided by electron mass, times, and this square root thing was the expression for velocity. So put that in. And what the answer says now is uh, 9.4 uh, uh, times 10 to minus 12 meters and 10 to minus 12 is picometers. So uh, yeah, 9.4 picometers. So let me try that as the answer. See if it says it's uh, wrong. And if it says it's wrong, especially uh, I'll, do the relativistic version. And even if it says it's correct, I think it's good to work, yeah. So <laughs> it's gonna say it's correct. I had that feeling. And uh, let me uh, work out the relativistically correct expression so you can see why, um, even though the velocity was rather, you know, it's 20% of the speed of light, that this answer is still close enough to the relativistically correct version. So, so um, to work out the relativistically correct expression, I think I'm not actually going to, yeah, I'm not actually going to work through this velocity. So, you know, if you're, if you're dealing with the relativity, oftentimes velocity is not the best expression to deal with. So what I am actually going to do is I'm going to relate this momentum uh, to the, 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 uh, to the energy and mass of the particle through this relationship. This is an expression you had in special relativity, energy of uh, a particle squared is equal to its uh, rest energy, mc squared, squared plus the momentum times c squared. So, when an electron is accelerated through potential energy difference of uh, 12 keV, um, I, I'm gonna know how much energy it should have. The amount of energy it should have is gonna be its rest energy, uh, mc squared, plus the 17 keV, let me call that delta A. So I know, so this is a numerical value I can plug in. So the to get the momentum here, I need to solve for momentum. So move this over, take the square root. So momentum is going to be square root of um, <laughs> E divided by C squared minus MC squared. Hope you can pause and follow through the algebra if you need to. So I'm going to use this expression for momentum. And um, with uh, this number for E, I think that's all the numbers I already have. So I can just uh, type that into from alpha. And um, the expression for wavelength that I would be using is not a Planck's constant over MB. It'll be Planck's constant divided by momentum where the momentum comes from this relativistically correct expression. So with that, let me, uh, put everything together on O from alpha here. It's gonna be, oh, I hope I have enough of a visible thing here. Okay, so it's gonna be Planck's constant divided by, and instead of this expression for non-relativistic thing, I'm gonna do square root of um, E over C squared. So it's gonna be, um, um, so, uh, well, 
so 5, 11, that's uh, the rest energy of uh, electron, uh, 5, 11 plus 17, that's uh, the kinetic energy that I'm adding, uh, KeV, that's the amount of energy of total energy of the electron. Um, take the whole thing, um, divided by speed of light, and then square, that's uh, E over C squared, minus um, the rest, uh, uh, well, so this MC, that's going to be equivalent to, to 511 keV, that's rest energy of the electron, divided by speed of light, because um, MC, you know, MC is MC squared divided by C. Um, square it. Okay, I think I put in all the expression for uh, here. So, yeah. And I need to, so this difference is covered. Okay, and, oh, I guess this uh, parenthesis already closes the, the one I started the square there. Okay, so let me say press enter. And I'm going to double check to make sure that of Wolfram Alpha understood me correctly here. Oh. Oh, is that why I was getting confused? Okay, I think, okay. Uh, so square root it. So that should be <laughs> momentum. And I'm gonna do Planck's constant divided by that momentum. Oh, maybe that's what was confusing Wolfram Alpha before. Yeah, okay, plan constant divided by this momentum thing. Okay, and when you do this relative, uh, get this relativistically correct expression, it's 9.33 picometers. So compare 9.33 with 9.4, it's still within 1%. And most of these questions are graded on 1% tolerance which is why the sensor of 9.4 is graded as correct. And it'll, it would also grade 9.3 as correct. Uh, oh, wait, no. yeah, I, sorry, it, it doesn't let me submit anymore. So uh, uh, I'm pretty sure it would have graded 9.3 as correct if I were able to submit it. Um, so, so yeah, it, uh, um, so the point of me going through this calculation was again, to try to develop your number sense. So this is 17 kilo electron volt, which is about, you know, factor of 20 smaller than rest energy of the electron. Now it does end up with a velocity that's uh, fairly large about 20% uh, of the speed of light, but even 20% of speed of light is still actually fairly non-relativistic. Um, it, so it depends on context to whether it uh, the relativistic correction is something you can ignore or something that you want to take into account. Here we do one percent precision on the wavelength. We didn't need to take it into account. You know, nine point four versus nine point three. Um, but there may be other contexts where you want precision greater than one percent. There you don't need to take a relativity into account.